So we got top 50 Little Woody moments in YSL trial. All right, this is the funniest compilation video, so let's hope it actually is that. Sometimes, you know, some, some Why did niggas you be lying. Your shoulder? Why did you shrug your shoulder? Cutting my shoulders? You need a laugh, What is right? 372? Numbers. Okay. And does the 372 That's correspond like to the letters of DRC on the phone pad? It could. I don't. I don't, I gotta look at the phone pad. And see. How do you look at the phone pad to tell? <laughs> you gotta look at the do ball, bro. Sure. Would the two of you go out? That'd be specific. I go out with anybody, even you. <laughs> Not asking about me. Sixty four Echo Hotel. <clears throat> he messed up. Ain't asking about me. Get back, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Sixty four Echo Hotel. Ain't no way this fool did that shit, bro. He said, back up. <laughs> this whole trial, that'll be a Boondocks episode, bro. Mm -mm. If he said I said it, I said it. And is that true or that not true that you left her home around 5 o'clock? Mm. Mm. If you notice know something about me, I don't keep up with the time or the days. <laughs> I just go with the flow. <laughs> Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fat. She's fine? <laughs> okay. How old she are you? She fat. Grown. Okay, what does grown mean? Bro. I'm an adult. Okay. And when you say you're an adult, what number in years are you? You trying to find a way around it, bro. <laughs> you trying to find a way. I pee the field. Ladies no. Can I get you? Okay. But the fact that he really sat there and found a way, bro, he really was thinking about it. He's like, how do I get out of this? He like, I plead the fifth. Like, this nigga, bro. You had to beef with Kel. They Why chose not the wrong one. Because I had to convince them. I got I to gotta, I gotta make it seem, if I say Kel shot me, they're going to, how you know? How Kel know where you stay at? So I got I to gotta, I gotta come up with something to make them know, okay, well, Tay being over here, you know what I mean? So, I, okay, Tay, I, I don't know, like, but listen, the, you keep asking me. I told you I don't know who shot at me. Okay. When's the first time that you recall meeting Hello, Young? Uh, uh, at the studio. And roughly what about what year are we talking about? Before I went to jail. Which time? <laughs> right. <laughs> he said right. Roughly Fourteen years. You know. Well, I've been in jail most of that time, so. Did you all speak while you were in jail? A few times. Okay. So your friendship didn't stop once you just because you went to jail. What you mean? I just said, I just think so. Did your friendship stop just because you went to jail? Or who determined when a friendship start and stop? You had to ask that <laughs> oh, again. God. I ain't for sure what you asked. <laughs> That's a valid point. Sure. I'll ask you again. 2014, 2015. Have you ever? I'll wait till you finish. Bro, I'm tired. I'm tired. You and I both. While y'all were in school, did y'all develop a friendship? Nope. Okay. At some point in time, did you ever develop a friendship with Shannon? Yeah. Okay. When was that? Uh, I don't know when, but at one point we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C O O L. I didn't ask you to spell it. I asked bro, you. But he was just so crazy, bro. Look at his face. He's like, bro, come on. I don't know when, but there, at one point it. we became cool. Okay. And when you say cool, what do you mean? C O O L. I didn't ask you to spell it. I asked you what you mean. So you say you don't remember telling him about what happened at But if he said that I told him that, I'm telling you right now, I told him that. Yeah, so can you start asking like... me what I supposed to told Detective Thorpe? Because I'm telling you now, if he said that I said anything about anything, I'm telling you, more likely I probably did. Great. Well, I'm going to ask you about all the things that you talked to Detective Thorpe about. Now, Ms. Coleman, do you have a nickname? You're smiling. Do you have? Do you have... <laughs> ask me a question. Do you have a nickname? 
Yeah. What's your nickname? Psycho. Okay. You never met any of his family members? I never met none of his family members. Okay. What about any of his girlfriends? What you mean? Have you ever you met mean? any of the people he ever dated? I don't know how he's seen them, but I done seen him with girls. Okay, so hey, you... bro, I know exactly who to call, bro. If I need some questions, dodge, bro. Fucking Woody, bro. This nigga is amazing at dodging these questions. That's all I can say. Met some of the people that he may or may not have dated. I guess. You said what now? Tell me who you recognize in 380 Yankee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> me and Coco. Who's Coco? The ugly boy right here. Okay. You see Pokey at the club. Do you want me to be honest with you? I... I think I just did. I just told you the God and the truth of what I did from January, uh, 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 from 2014 until 20, the 21. Every time they got me, I, they already know me. They already know I got a whole bunch of bullshit to say. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to refrain from cursing. What? Oh, 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 sorry, everybody. No disrespect. Uh, I'm sorry about it. But. <laughs> oh, rules, sir. Overruled, sir. Why did you have the gun at Dunbar Recreation Center? I just pleaded guilty to it. Did you tell officers that you were trying to sell that gun, and that's why you had it at the Dunbar Recreation Center? Again, I was going to jail. Did he ever threaten you to give a name? <laughs> nah, but he kept asking me to make me say a name, and the, you like how you keep asking me a question. I, I'm gonna say. I'm going to say something to, to answer you so you can stop asking me the same question. Why would I lie to convince them to not go to jail? Right. But they don't know that I'm lying. Well, they <laughs> didn't let you go immediately, did they? Sometimes they let me go. Right. But so I mean, when the time they let me go, I thought I was smarter than them. Did the detective say that they had to fact check what you said before they let you go? Can you say that again? Sure. Did the detectives tell you that they had to fact check what you were telling them? And, and, you know, in certain situations. Right. And so what benefit would it be to lie if they told you that they had to fact check it? Oh, it was no benefit. Yeah, because let me know when I what see they did was they picked and choose where they wanted to take from me. And they still left me in jail. So they came back and beat me in the butt. Okay. <laughs> do you not know anyone? Or do you, you can't see it? Why can't you? Objection, Your Honor. Ask for answers. Because you recognize holes. Oh, He's so through, bro. Why can't you recognize what's in the picture? What you mean? Do you not see it? What do you mean when you say you don't know who I can't recognize the picture. Do you see yourself in that picture? No. You do not see yourself? The picture blurred. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither know, he that in a little more off, detail <laughs> that you walked up and you tried to dap up Kel, but he did not grab your hand? I'm not walking up dap nobody up. <laughs> now, do you recall tell? Do you recall... <clears throat> Independently, that after Thug told Kel, beef ain't over with until you pay for my window, you shot my window, that you told Kel what you told Kel? Yes. What do you remember telling Kel? <laughs> what I told? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So you told Kel, yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> So was that your Instagram account? She set herself up for that one, bro. My Instagram account is Woody vs. Woody. I asked back in From 2000. back then, I think my Instagram account <clears throat> is the same account to, as it is today. Okay. Woody vs. Woody. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I, this, I don't did so much time away. From society. Okay. Did you know that Woody vs. Woody was a fake account? You asked me about so I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer these questions. I don't really. A lot of this stuff you're talking about, like, I don't. I'm, I've been through too much to be trying to remember certain stuff or these questions you're asking me. Like, you, you, you discombobulated me up here. Like, Not the discombobulating. You want me to lie? You want me to tell the truth? One? I, I can't tell you the truth. If you sitting here, you want, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how to answer these questions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what y'all got going on. Like, for real. Oh, damn. Like, you asked me about 2015. 
what somebody said to the investigators. Shit, I'm crazy. You know how I many investigators try to question me about these? Yes, and we're going to talk about a few. <laughs> Can you tell the jurors what occurred at the Dunbar recreation site? I was playing basketball. The police came there and locked me up. And why did the police lock you up? Because I'm wounded. Because I'm wounded. Did you have a gun at the Dunbar recreation I had a basketball in my hand. Basketball. You said you consider yourself 372. What was 372? It ain't for you to know. I'm going to ask you again, Mr. Copeland. What was 372? Oh, man. 372. She going through it, What's that again? What, you de what do you define as a game? Mr. Copeland, I'm I, asking a question. I can't answer your question if I don't know what you're talking about. Were you, was it you and a group of people a part of 372? And what's a group of people? Are you married? <laughs> what's a group nope. of people? Are you in a relationship? Nope. Right. Do you have children? You know that. Okay. I do, but the jury doesn't. Do you have children? Yep. All right. How many? More than one. All right. <laughs> do you have more than three? I might. Ain't no ten. Okay. That's perfect. That's fair. <laughs> do you have two that you know of? Yeah. All right. <laughs> she got and how old are your two children? The same age. What's that? I don't know. Y'all been having me in jail so long, I can't recall. <laughs> Were you in jail on Friday? Bruh. Prior to? Yeah, I was in jail Friday. Were you in jail on Thursday? Thursday ain't came yet. No, last Thursday. I felt like it. What types of things would you do with Felt like it, bro. What you mean? Did y'all go out? Did you go shoot dice? Did you go to the club? What type of things would you do with yourself? Things. Young black men doing the neighborhood. I don't know what young black men do in the neighborhood. So what is try to survive and stay away from the police. <laughs> do anything else besides try to survive and stay away from the police? Yeah, get locked up. <laughs> remember or do not remember? I told you already. I don't remember. You keep asking me. So if you don't remember, just say you do not remember. I, I, yeah. You keep running out. I'll, I'll sustain the question. I'll sustain the that you. Your mind and I'll ask. You can instruct Mr. Cope if he does not remember. Just to say he does not remember. Mr. Copeland, just answer the question to the best of your ability, okay? I thought I did, Judge. <laughs> you're, you're... I told her I don't remember no conversation I had with. She trying to cross me up. She trying to say this and that when I, I don't told her. I don't, I don't told the police anything they wanted to hear for them to do. And she keep asking me over and over. You're going to have to answer the question, sir, okay? <laughs> About how old were you all when you took this picture? I don't know. Do you have hair on your head when you took the picture? Bruh. What you when you took the picture? What you trying to say? <laughs> Side eye the hell out of her. Bro. You look like I got hair on my head. Okay. How long ago have you been bald? <laughs> you feel attacked, bro. When I got out of prison. Okay. So this is before you went into prison? This is an old picture. And that's what I need to know. Thank you very much. When you are addressing or talking about them, how do you distinguish the two little D's from each other? What you mean? Do you what call you one of them little D from Cleveland? If you ask me, if you ask me which little D I'm talking about. And that's what I'm asking you. When you are well, talking you about... ask me that. Mr. Copeland, which little D... I don't remember what I said to him. He crossed the arms over. Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me, and you know what I mean? You recall telling the detective that? I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what I said to him. Do you recall Because at that point, he had put too much pressure on me, and you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, because he, he told me, I remember him saying he want that gun. That's all I remember him kept saying. He want that gun. And when you say putting pressure, what do you mean? Same thing you're doing to me now. You keep putting pressure on me. Do you see Shannon in the courtroom today? Well, I got a vision problem. Okay. I can't see that far. All right. So if you want to stand up and look around the courtroom yeah. and tell, look around the entire courtroom, tell me if you see Shannon in the courtroom today. He's a...
You need to sit down? No. Nah, I can light here. They ain't had any drink. Do you want some water? You gonna give me a drink? I thought I you were say water. no. I don't drink water. Well, I don't have nothing else for you. But I will put up some water up there for you. Who am I looking for? Shannon. I got a new ball, bro. <laughs> I think I see him. Okay. <laughs> when you say you think you can have a seat, when you say you think you see him, what do you think he's wearing? Look, look like he's wearing gray over there. So who are you pointing to over there that's wearing gray? I think lady got red hair. Okay, so you pointing to a lady and not Shannon? No, the one behind her. Okay, so you're saying you believe that the person behind. The lady with the red hair is Shannon. Is that what you're saying today? Well, it looked like it. Okay. Well, Does anybody like... else over there look like Shannon? Yeah. Okay, who's the other person who looks like Shannon over there? He's standing behind the bald head dude right there. He's standing or he's sitting? I'd sit down, I guess. Okay. What's his hairstyle? Bald head. So you're saying Shannon's the one with the bald head? Or he's sitting no, behind he's sitting him? behind the dude with the bald head. I think that's him. Okay. There's two people with dreads. I can't see the, I just see dreads. Okay. And again, are you the only person sitting in that interview room when, when outside of Investigator Gaither and Gaither, excuse me, outside of Investigator Gaither and Investigator Dennis? Unless you don't count the ghosts that's in there with me. <laughs> okay. Bruh. Um, he yeah. said, unless you count the ghosts that are in there with me, bruh. This nigga is such a doofball, bro. I can't. He's so unserious. I know he also did like a, uh, a 20v1 or whatever. He like, he told all them girls to go away. permission bro. to approach? Yeah. Hey, Judge. Sir. I'm hot. <laughs> Can I take this sweat off? Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither in this January 28th interview that thug said, nigga, I don't care about none of it. What, look what y'all got going on. You still shot at me. Just pay for my window. You gonna pay for my window. Hey, man, I ain't letting that go. Yes. <laughs> yes, you remember thug saying that? Thug said it. Are you saying, yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither? I know I, I, know I ain't complete school, but I... I think I'm speaking proper English. <laughs> I told you, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over yeah, and over and over. I'm really. tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you would just answer the questions properly. I am answering the question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep When I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. So again, will you just answer the questions and we can move the process along? Yes. You keep asking, okay, yes. Is that, what are you answering yes to? Yes. Your question. Good morning, school. Good morning. Do you have permission to be No. She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, Counselors, you. No. Do you recall at all talking to this detective about <clears throat> what happened that Monday night at Club Crucial with you and Kel, the the fight between you and Kel? Uh, I don't recall nothing specific that me and him talk about outside of the shooting with my child. <clears throat> and I barely remember some of that stuff. You you talking about some years ago when I don't even know what I did <laughs> three, four days, days ago. ago. I feel that. Yes. Yes, you remember telling Detective Gaither that? Yes. I don't remember what I don't told the police. Let me ask you this. Are you just saying yes now to speed up your questioning? Most definitely. Okay. You asked me about questions that I was supposed to be asked back then that I, if I say something, you're going to say, oh, I might impeach him or whatever you, whatever the word is you use. When I don't know, I can't, I can't answer that. Okay. Do you recall telling your girlfriend when it was just the two of you? I did when he jumped out the car. I know exactly who I saw. I don't, I don't, at that point, it was so much pressure on me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I mean, 
my daughter crying, trying to take her to the hospital. Uh, somebody pull up on me soon. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what made me have a gun to go to the hospital. It's all type of stuff going through my mind. I don't know I, too much so going on. Yeah, I can't because she keep asking me these questions and. <laughs> The way you try to pull the judge on the side, Colton, bro. Just take a breath, okay? We do need to take down your testimony, so you do need to speak a little slower, all right? Okay? All right. All right. All right. It was some investigator right there talking to me, but when he looked and seen who I was, he called somebody, then they went to jumping out the sky, coming out the bushes, every which way they questioned me right there. I don't know who it was they questioned me. Earlier, I asked you about whether you were concerned about being labeled a snitch. Do you recall telling Detective Copeland? Detective who? I mean, excuse me, Detective Copeland. <laughs> Detective Curry. Now I'm a detective. <laughs> or was it? I made a mistake. Correct. About Do you recall telling Detective Beaver and Detective Dennis that she was present at the pool party? I know, yeah, I thought the detective prior shit, to, um, Prior to the shooting on the highway. Uh, I don't know, I guess. Do you remember? Do you not remember? I don't recall. What I'm trying to tell you is our conversation was about something that I said in the past. I know you don't thought that before. I understand. Over there, bro. I'm asking you. Yes. Mr. Copeland allowed to finish this. Okay. All right. Well, I thought he was done. Mr. Copeland, you need, you need to finish your answers? No, I need a break, young. Say again? I need a break. This nigga nodded off I was in the chair, bro. Okay. At some point, did you wake up? <laughs> I was asleep. Okay. Hey, that nigga fucking YSL would be funny, bro. I can't even cap that nigga. is fucking hilarious. But yeah, I bet he turned them dry trials into something entertaining for everybody, though, for real. <laughs>